Here you go. Nice, smooth. Big live well. Got a little lip around the inside of it. Keep water from splashing out. Lid hangs over on all three sides. It's gonna make an awesome box. How's it going everybody? Well, here's the latest update. As you can see, I've built the boxes on the sides and that brings us to the purpose of this video. I'm gonna show you how I made these, uh, these lids. This thing already had these storage boxes on the side, but what I've done is if anybody owns one of these tracker boats, they know that this box goes all the way up here, all the way up and through the console. I don't need a rod storage box per se, so I got rid of that idea. I cut this box off, made it shorter, and actually slid it all the way to the very back of the boat. That way it serves two purposes. That way it actually helps strengthen the transom, and with it moving back a little bit further, it just gives me a lot more room right here where the console is going to go. That's the only thing I didn't really like about this boat when I first got it, was the fact that when you were sitting here, you were pushed all the way over to the side here. And it pretty much eat up this whole area to right here, which made it where it forced you to have no console on this side. My logic is I want a console on both sides. So when this boat's done, right now I'm considering doing dual consoles with a full windshield with a walkthrough. Ain't really decided yet, but I'll work that out when I get to it. But this box here, it had the live well in it. And for me, I don't really need the storage. I just need the live well. So we built this thing. I got the lids and the hatches all made for it. Instead of ordering store-bought hatches, I just went ahead and done these because I don't care if they're waterproof or not because it's a live well. Any water gets in there, it's gonna run out the back. So purpose of this video is just me getting these doors made for, these live, for the live well and for this one storage box. And you see it's pretty nice, pretty tight. I'm just waiting on the hatch pulls. As soon as they come in, then I can finish this thing up. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. If you're not a sub, consider subbing, but let me show you how I made these doors. Well, the first thing you do is you go ahead and put whatever you're going to use for a top. And as you can see, I'm using a three-quarter PVC. It's kind of dirty. I keep all the scraps I got just for stuff like this. But you go ahead and cut your PVC or your backing. It could be plywood or whatever you're using or whatever you're making your doors out of. Go ahead and get it cut. And then what I do, I like using a lot of tread plate and diamond plate on top. So since I'm using diamond plate, you can't just wrap it like you do with carpet and it hide up a lot of the gaps. So what I do is I go ahead and cut my diamond plate to where it fits on top of it. Go ahead and temper it down to the lid. As you can see, this whole thing's floating. I haven't secured it yet. Go ahead and fasten it down to it. And then after you fasten it down to it, we'll move on to the next step. All right, so we got this piece temporary up right where it's gonna be on the boat. So what we'll go do is we'll turn it over. It, like I say, this could be plywood or anything else. And if you weren't doing the aluminum part, you'd still do the same process. Go ahead and get everything right, and then mark out your door. Instead of trying to do it in pieces, go ahead and do it all at one time. So I'm gonna go with that right there as being my door. And I already marked the front here as far as I could go forward. So I'm gonna say it's about right, right there. Go ahead and mark it. Right there. Do the same thing here. We'll go ahead and say the door's going to run to about right there. That'd be plenty big enough to stick whatever I want to stick inside of here but not so, be so big that it just is a pain in the butt. This right here would be a perfect size door. It's hard to be a perfect size door. Hard to be able to drop anything down in it with no problem lights or maybe even short rod and reels. Uh, we'll see. But this is just a storage box inside the boat. All right, so we got the door marked out. Now all we do is just take our skill saw with a, uh, now like I say, this is using the, the diamond foil on the other side. I'm just going to take the skill saw and I'm going to plunge cut it and cut 
I'm going to cut this whole thing out with the aluminum on the other side. That way when I get done, the aluminum's the exact size of my door and it'll already have the eighth inch margin all the way around it because the saw takes out an eighth of an inch all the way around. So that way you can kill two birds with one stone. We got most of it cut out and as you can see perfect eighth of an inch gap and no matter if I'd have cut it a little bit out of square or a little bit off of my line it don't matter it's still a perfect fit as long as you got the straight edge where your where your hinge is going to mount and that looks good now I'll take the jigsaw and finish cleaning these up and then we'll go and get this door built All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out with a jigsaw. Jigsaw blade's not quite as wide as a skill saw blade, so cut to the outside edge of it because you can sand this down a whole lot easier than you can sand this. There we go. Perfectly gap door. Now we'll go ahead and put the hinges on it and that one's done. Now we got it. Put my piece back in there. The type of hinge I've got has kind of got an offset in it. So I had to kind of take a little bit of material off this side so that when I put the hinge on the hinge is flush with the top of it. But it just depends. I could have done the hinges the other way and they would have been fine, but I wanted to go that route right there. All you do is just make sure you keep your 16th of an inch, eighth inch of clearance. Screw your hinges down. Make sure everything works. Everything clears. It ain't rubbing anywhere. Your door. Now all I gotta do is put the metal back on. All right, we got our doors made. One thing I just got done doing, I put my hinge on. Now, if you'll notice, I've opened it up a little bit. Like I say, this piece really doesn't matter if it's perfect because it's just a backer for the door. So what I done because I don't want to have to put a stop underneath it. So what I done was I just ripped a half inch off the end of this and I just resecured that to the front side, and you'll see why in a minute. They give me a little bit wider gap, but you'll see in a minute why I done that. All right, my door's finished. Everything's done. I went ahead and drilled all my holes to mount all this over the top of it. And like I say, this ain't that heavy, but it sounds like it's heavy, but as you can see, it's, it's pretty thick stuff. But that'll give me a nice solid foundation for everything when I'm walking on it and I won't have to worry about it ever going anywhere. Much better than carpet. But in order to put my screws in, I don't want the screw heads sticking way up in the air. So what I'm gonna do is this is just a countersinking bit. And what it does, it just kind of sets the same, this is actually the same angle as the screws are. So all I gotta do is just uh, put a little,
And what that'll do is it'll let the screw heads, when I put the screw in there, it'll let the screw heads get down to where they're flush and not sticking up. And it gives you a nice clean look when it's all said and done. All right, we're gonna put all this together. Like I said, everything was already pre-drilled, so it should go back together pretty easy. Let's go ahead and slap some screws in it and see how good it works. All right, there we go. That skin's mounted. Now I'll be taking some of these out. Once I get it put on the boat, I'll take a few of these out and mount this whole thing straight through this into the boat. All right, we'll go ahead and check our door here. And there's what you wanna see. You can see that door right there is pretty much perfect. I got a 16th of an inch gap all the way around it. Let me go ahead and Put a screw in this. I'll put one right here. There we go. Now we'll test it and see how she works. There we go. And now you can see why I've done that. By taking a half inch off of the white part that was underneath there, or the plywood, if you had plywood, I took a half inch off of that. I put it right here. So what that done is it made where I have a lip here. So this lip sets right on top of that and it acts like a stop. And that also keeps water. Now if this was a water tight container, like a live well lid, what I would do is I'd do the same thing on all three sides. I'd take and trim a half inch here and a half inch here fasten it to this side and then when you shut it it would make like a watertight seal on it where water don't splash out but as you can see that's about as good as you can get i'll go and finish putting all the screws in it and then we'll look at it when it's done as you can see by doing it that way i've got the perfect gap all the way around it now I used a, a hinge that I wanted it to be flush. I didn't want the hinge to stick above it. Now if you didn't worry about your hinge sticking above it, then you don't have to do anything else once you cut it out. Me, I wanted to use a recessed hinge. So all I had to do after I got everything done, I just took and again, just left this side alone and then cut one quarter of an inch off the back side of this piece of aluminum. And as you can see, everything worked out perfect. And when the thing's closed, you can barely see where I even have this piece of aluminum in there. All right, here we go, finished product. Turned out really good. Finally got my pulls in. Turned out real, real nice. Nice and uh, smooth, that's what I wanted. I want it strong enough that I can stand on it and it not move. Turned out real nice. And here's the one on the other side. I've already put the uh, finished trim on it. It's just aluminum edging that I put around it. Same thing. Nice little storage box here. Flip them down. Turned out real, real nice.